Hey, what's up, dudes and dudettes? How's everyone doing today? Great, I'm glad you're all doing well. You are now watching Random Adventures with David Jr. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm here in Paris. I just came off the, I just came, excuse me, to drop off my uh, nephew. So he's gone. So one of the reasons I also wanted to come out here is because I wanted to come to the to the Walmart here in Paris because last time I was here I noticed that they were selling a Ghostbusters Ecto-1 toy from the from the 80s cartoon show the real Ghostbusters and I've been looking at other um, Walmarts and I can't find it so I'm here at this Walmart because I saw it here so I'm gonna see if it's still there if it is, I think I'm gonna fucking buy it. So let's go inside because it's fucking hot out here. There it is. Oh, I found it. It's the last one too, dude. Oh, 45 bucks. Looks like this little Ecto-1 has been waiting for me. Oh my God, I found it, I found it. Oh my God, I found it. All right, you guys, I'm at a Walmart. I found what I was looking for. Hell yeah. I'm currently in my room and it's fucking hot. I'm fucking sweating. You see the sweat on my forehead? It's fucking hot. Anyways. So you saw in the clips before that I went to Walmart because I was looking for an Ecto 1 toy. So I went like three weeks ago, could have been four weeks, don't don't quote me, to Walmart with, with my nephew. Um, we went to go walk around and uh, we were checking out the toys and I saw that they were selling this um, Ecto-1 toy that was from the TV program, um, The Real Ghostbusters. At the time, I didn't have enough cash on, on me. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. So, and I live, <clears throat> I live um, about 30 minutes away from my nephew. So, um, it's, it's a little, it's a little, a little far, you know? So anyway, so, um, I started since, since I wasn't able to go back to Paris to that Walmart, I was like, maybe maybe they have it at a different walmart you know somewhere closer to me so i started looking around all the walmarts around me and they they didn't carry this particular ecto-1 toy so um i went to probably four different walmarts couldn't fucking find it so i was like you know what i'm gonna have to go back to the to the walmart in paris and look for it there because that's where i saw it i was like 50 50 chance it's still there or it's fucking sold out, you know? So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go. So yeah, so um, I volunteered to take, my sister brought my nephew to to our house, but then I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll, I'll take him back home, you know? That way I can, I have a reason to go to the Walmart out there. So yeah, I fucking went and yep, there was one more Ecto-1 on that shelf. The last one. I cannot fucking believe it. It was waiting for me, bro. It was fucking fate. <laughs> it was fucking fate, bro. I had to come back downstairs because my room was fucking hot. I was, I was, I was trying to record up there, but it just, 
it was too damn hot and I was fucking sweating like crazy dude so I was like fuck this you know I'm going I'm, I'm going downstairs where it's cooler man the top floor it's it fucking stays hot dude unless the AC's on which it's which is not at the moment yeah the second floor fucking stays hot so yeah I'm back downstairs all right, so here it is, the Ecto-1 from the cartoon show, The Real Ghostbusters. I cannot freaking believe that I freaking found it. Dude, this fucking noise. Ecto one. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Has like a little ramp. Damn. This is fucking awesome. I can't believe it, dude. I swear, dude, last time I saw it at that Walmart in Paris, I swear, dude, the price, the price tag said 30 bucks. This time that I went, it was freaking 45 bucks. So it must have gone up $15. I swear it was 30 bucks, but hey, whatever. I don't care, man. I had a little spare change in my pocket and I was like, you know what? It's the last one. I'm taking it home. I'm taking it home and I'm going to collect it and um, the box is fully sealed and I do not plan on opening it anytime soon. It's going to freaking stay sealed and it's never going to open as long as I'm alive. It's not going to open. It's going to stay fully sealed and the box is in good condition. Every time I look for toys, I always um, check the exterior of the box I make sure nothing's damaged um, make sure everything's cool if it's good I'm gonna buy it if it's a little damaged I try to look for another one that's undamaged oh yes <laughs> oh, I'm so excited bro Another awesome toy for my collectibles, my many collectibles. So also when I was at that Walmart, I saw something else that's pretty freaking rad. Um, last time I was there, I saw it and um, I was freaking thinking since Thor Love and Thunder has already been released, I was freaking thinking this toy is not going to be available anymore. It's going to be gone um, because People have been buying all all the freaking people have been buying like all the Thor toys at Target and Walmart. Um, I bought a I bought a um, Marvel Legends action figure of of the Thor in this new movie. Um, I bought that before the movie was released, so you know I had some time to find to find that. But this time I went when I went that that Thor action figure was gone completely gone you know um so yeah anyways so this toy i saw i was i saw it today i was like fuck bro i'm gonna get it this time last time i didn't get it but this time i'm gonna get it so this is what i saw last time i went to that walmart i saw this freaking uh, stormbreaker it's meant for a little kid but it's still freaking freaking rad dude and how old I fucking want it. I love it, I love it, bro. Love the fucking details on it. I'm pretty sure if 
Pretty sure the sound effect would be way fucking cool than what I'm doing. Uh, okay, and that's the back of it. So there's a little button for the little crackoom sound effect. Yeah, so it's like a little mini Stormbreaker. And on top you got Thor, and then you got Jane, the mighty Thor. Obviously, I didn't fucking, ch I didn't see this when I was, when I was, uh, when I was checking out the toy at the store because there's a freaking damage right there. You see that? I didn't freaking notice it at the moment, so that kind of fucking sucks. But I can't go back to that Walmart because it's fucking far, so, oh well, my fault. Ah, <sighs> that's fucking cool. Breaker. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I, when I was at a different Walmart uh, looking for that Ecto One, I actually found a um, Thor action figure. Um, it's not the Marvel Legends one that I mentioned. Uh, it's 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 a whole different action figure. It's bigger than the Marvel Legends um, Thor action fi action figure that I found. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this in the video. Um, I can't remember. But in case I didn't, I'm gonna show you guys real quick what it looks like. It's fucking rad. So this is the Thor that I found. Um, at the Walmart I went to, these were completely sold out. So I bought this before the release of the movie. And uh, it's fucking rad, dude. So you got Stormbreaker in the back. You got Stormbreaker, then you got Thor right here. Makes a little. Stormbreaker, do your worst. Yeah, so that's a shit ton of um phrases. Um, there's a lot of them, so I'm not gonna go through all of them. But yeah, check it out. Damn, this thing is fucking awesome, dude. Jane? Hell yeah. Shakoom! There it is again. Shakoom! Fuck, I love this. So fucking, so happy I, so happy I was able to find this before the movie, before the movie was released and before they were completely out. Fucking awesome, look at that. Fucking love Thor, bro. Thor is the best. The best fucking Marvel hero. He is the fucking best, bro. Shrakoon! Alright, so I'm going to end the video here because my battery is almost out. I think I'm at a 5%. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy my video, I apologize that my content is, does not make you happy. Um, anyways, take care of you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love all you guys.